as Gus Angel, presented by the Plymouth Dealers of America, who proudly sell and service the beautiful new Plymouth for 1957. The time, about five months after Vicky and Gus Angel were married. The main character, one little tree. The plot, you can't see the tree for the people. Well, why don't you leave the car in the driveway? They'll be here any minute. Okay. I guess I should have warned you sooner they were coming off, but it was sort of a last-minute thing. Oh, no, I'm done. You want to put out some cigarettes for Carl? I didn't mean for you to go through all the trouble of going out and getting coffee, Kate. Oh, it's a handy thing to have around. Nobody stays more than 20 minutes past coffee cake. We'll set the coffee cake around for 20 minutes to 12. The last time they were here, we sat up until 3 o'clock in the morning discussing his sinuses. <laughs> you want to keep this? What is it? It's a notice from the city that they're going to remove that palm tree out front. Well, I guess they know what they're doing. Anything else I can do, honey, to help you? No, I don't think so. Why don't you just relax till they get here? All righty. Vicky, you're a good wife. You're just saying that because we're married. <laughs> Vicky. Yeah, hon? What happened to this pipe? I've been waiting for you to notice. I scraped all that nasty stuff that was clogging the bowls and I washed them. <laughs> you washed my pipes? What with? What with? What do you think I'd use? Soap and water? <laughs> You're silly. Yeah, let me light it for you. I use baking soda. It's <laughs> all right, isn't it? Oh, sure it is. It's a... uh, here they are. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh they're getting sexy. girl. You know, you wouldn't believe the traffic this time of night. We almost didn't get here. Oh, it's Friday night and the teenagers are out. Come on in and sit down. Oh, we better. Carl's a little shaky. Why, what happened? Oh, we were in the center lane of the freeway and this car suddenly cut right in front of me, just like that. You know how crazy they drive on the freeway. Is he going fast? <laughs> well, I was doing 70, so you can imagine. <laughs> here, I'll show you. Now, here's the center lane of the freeway, see? And all of a sudden, this, this car... Oh, you're reading their mail, dude. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. It's just a notice from the city. What about the car? Well, it suddenly cut over right in front of me, and so did the truck in front of him. Well, it's all over now, thank goodness. Honey, why don't you go set up the card table? Oh, fine, honey. Oh, it's far from over. I tell you, those fellows are going to hear from me. If it hadn't been for Carl's petite flexes, we'd be a couple of vital statistics now. Carl! Yeah. <laughs> what palm tree? This is their home. Holly, that's all right. We all do the same thing. The city's going to remove that little palm tree from out front. <laughs> Just like that. Shall I put this table in the usual place, honey? Fine, I'll get the chair. Gus, are you going to let them get away with this? The tree's no good. It's studded. Oh, Vicky. Thanks, they're heavy. When did you get this? It came in today's mail. Hmm. Don't start one of your campaigns, dear. Let's play cards. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the way it starts. That's the way what starts? They start by removing one or two palm trees, and the next thing you know, you've got a freeway right through the middle of your neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> but as Dolly says, it's none of my business. Where do I sit? All they're doing is removing the tree because it does it. Where does it say that? That's the reason, Carl. All the other trees in the neighborhood are 30 feet high. 
And our tree, well, I can see right over the top of ours. That's not very good for a 22-year-old tree. <laughs> What's the new tree supposed to do, catch up with the others? Oh, look, sit down a minute, kids. <laughs> I want to ask you something. How long have you two been married? Five, Five months, months, three weeks, and two days. days. <laughs> have you owned this house? Well, let's put it this way, we don't pay rent. Oh, and he considers it yours. Now, where does it say they'll replace your tree? Well, it doesn't. Oh, I'm sure they'd replace the tree. All right, dear, you've started your revolution. Now, let's play God, shall we? Mm -hmm. You know, you can ruin the water mains pulling out a tree. <clears throat> you pay for that. We pay for it. They ruin our water mains with their tree and we pay for it? Vicki, you'll find that when the city plants a tree, the roots somehow manage to grow under the sidewalk and ruin the water mains on your property. I think they train them. <laughs> what do we do, Carl? Call City Hall? Let me say it for you, dear. Calling City Hall will only get you some two-bit clerk who knows nothing about your problems and cares less. Did I say it right, sweet? <laughs> I use the phrase, Dolly, only because it seems most apt. Yeah. It doesn't even say they'll fill up the hole after they remove the tree. Well, how can they? It'll be full of water from the pipes they broke. <laughs> Gus, boy, let me ask you a question. Should you pay much attention to a card that's uh, addressed merely to the occupant? Well, you're right. They didn't even bother to look up our names. Look at that, Gus. Occupant. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do, Carl? Now, wait a minute. I... I want you to think before you act. Bearing in mind, of course, that you do have rights. You are the city. For all we know, they might plant a, a banana tree out there. <laughs> they have a warrant for it. <laughs> Every citizen has the right of petition. Petition? Yes, you just circulate one around the neighborhood here and have them sign it, and I guarantee you that palm tree will stay right where it is. Gosh, I don't know, Carl. We've only lived here a couple of months. We hardly know the people next door. If you'll help us write the petition, Carl, I'll take it around tomorrow. Steady girl. You may not feel so civic minded in the morning when you find the neighbors staring at you through those peepholes. Well, uh, uh, honey, I'd love to go with you in the morning, but I have that long distance phone call coming in. On second thought. Vicki? <laughs> Circulating a petition is not only a privilege, it's your civic duty. I'll do it. I will. <laughs> yes? Nothing. Just a moment. You wish to see me? I have a petition. Oh. I'm Mrs. Angel. You're two houses away, neighbor. No, come in, please. Thank you. In this house, we feel that any petition is worthy of a few minutes of our time. Thank you. You see, yesterday we got a notice from the city saying they were going to remove that palm tree from out in front of our house. Then this only concerns our own neighborhood. Yes. Yesterday, the city... Just a moment. Sit down, please. <laughs> Father? I'd like the rest of my family to hear this. Oh, fine. <laughs> Mrs. Angel, may I present my father? How do you do? How do you do? Oh, would you go get Martha and John and Glenn, too, if he's not busy? I'm a little new at this. Couldn't I just explain it to you? I assure you, you will have our undivided attention. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Mrs. Angel is here to explain about a petition which concerns our neighborhood. Now then, Mrs. Angel. Yesterday... Yesterday, the city... Yesterday, the city sent us a postcard... about our palm tree. Oh, the city's palm tree. But it's in front of our house, and we water it. <laughs> I don't mean we water the house. <laughs> Maybe you've noticed it in that, that greenhouse up the block. And they sent it to us on a cheap postcard. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not doing this very well. You see, the point is, that's the way it starts. Well, we don't mind the broken water main so much. But who's going to fill in the hole? <laughs> they could plant rhubarb, don't you see? <laughs> Yesterday, the city sent us a... <laughs> Ask me some questions. Somebody sent you a tree on a postcard? Father, if you can't ask something sensible, don't waste Mrs. Angel's time. What kind of rhubarb? I only use that as an exaggeration. It is. You see, the point is, if they take out one tree, how do we know they won't take out all of them? After all, we are the city. <laughs> I'm sorry I took up your time. <laughs> Just a moment. As a property owner, don't you want me to sign the petition? Well, I didn't make any sense. You made more sense than you know. Well, thank you. I... Thank you. I appreciate it. I better be going, but thank you. Thank you very much. It's so... Really, thank you. I do it. Wasn't that nice of him? Thank you. <laughs> Was that all about? <laughs> she was nervous, but she confirmed something I've suspected for a long time. The city isn't interested in one tree. They're going to take them all out and widen the streets. <laughs> they can't do that. They can if we don't stop them. Now, I'm writing up five petitions, and I want you to take them around this afternoon. But you're the laundry man. No, I'm Mrs. Angel, your neighbor from up the block. Oh. Nobody answered the front door. Oh, the doorbell's more broke than we are. Come on in. <laughs> I'm canvassing the neighborhood. Oh, sit down. Your feet must be killing you. Oh, I can't stay. Oh, you can sit down for a minute. I know what it's like to take one of those things around. I don't have to excuse the way this place looks. We sleep late Saturdays. Here? Got company. Okay. <laughs> you the people that bought the Dexter place a few months back? Yes, but really, you mustn't bother your husband. Ah, oh, don't be silly. We've both been dying to meet you. Ever since we saw your furniture move in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kathy Murphy. I'm Vicki Angel. Yeah, well, pleased to meet you. <laughs> what I came to see you about is this. Uh, my husband gives at the office. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Murph Mickey Angel. Hmm? Uh, Mickey Angel. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? Uh, kept some coffee? Oh, no, thank you. They're the ones with the walnut dining room set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, with the meeting, get over and say hello, but how do you know how it is? Oh, uh, I give down at the office. <laughs> oh, I don't want any money. No, you see, this is a petition. You see, yesterday we got a notice from the city saying they were going to remove our palm tree from our front. Maybe you noticed that little stunted tree on the freeway? On the parkway? <laughs> Dexter's never watered it. That's why it looks like that. Poor mangy little thing. Yeah. Well, anyway, even though the city owns the freeway, we... Uh, you mean the parkway? Parkway? You think I'm stumbling now. You should have heard me next door. <laughs> I was so nervous, I thought I was going to faint. 
Those five hoot owls would make anyone nervous. <laughs> he and Tassie think the bald headed one is dead. <laughs> Go on, um, what happens now if the city takes out that palm tree? My husband and I got to thinking. This is the way it starts. Boy, you can say that again. A tree here, a tree there, before you know it, the whole neighborhood has changed. If it isn't our freeway, our parkway, it's yours. See, the thing we all forget is, we are the city. Where do we start? We're right here. Not E. Murphy, Ellsworth Murphy. No, oh, I hate that name. <laughs> Here you are, Cassandra. <laughs> That's three signatures already. I really appreciate this. Well, when you get this thing all straightened out, maybe we can get together. We will. And thanks again. Oh, sure. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Hello, Jack. This is Murph. There's a girl on her way over there with a petition. Don't ask any questions, just sign it. <laughs> There's a freeway coming through here. <laughs> now look, Jack, I'm serious about this whole thing. You just do as I ask. <laughs> How do you do? I have a petition here I'd like you to look at. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a coincidence. Come on in, sir. <laughs> did I... Did I interrupt a meeting? <laughs> oh, no, I'm breaking in some pipes. Oh, well, this will take a minute. Uh, this petition simply states that you join with the rest of the block in denying the city the right to remove the trees and widen the street. Widen the street? Oh, I assume you don't want that. Oh, of course not. We won't have any lawn left. Where do I sign? Yeah. <laughs> After all, we are the city. Excuse me. Yes? I'm Cassie Murphy from up the block. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, some pipes were washed by mistake. Uh, what can I do for you, Mrs. Murphy? Well, I've um, got a petition to keep a freeway from going through here. A freeway? Eight lanes. <laughs> All I heard is that the city wanted to widen the street. At least that's what the man that just left here said. He shouldn't be allowed out of the house. <laughs> can I see that petition, please? Sure. The thing we forget is that we have rights as taxpayers. We are the city. Where did you hear that the city was going to run a freeway through here? From your wife? But her petition was worded all wrong, so we drew up one of our own. <laughs> but all we wanted to do was stop the city from removing one little palm tree. That's the way it starts. Did my wife visit the man who just left here? Yes, just before she came to our place. And he thinks that... Oh, I've got to stop her. How do you do? My name's Dr. Me. Oh, where, where's my wife? The city wants to build a new municipal airport here. Where's my wife? Your wife's signing up the other side of the street. Why? I've got to find her. Imagine what this is doing to him down at City Hall. Excuse me, sir. Now, I've got to tell you, would you like to sign on with me? Who can take care of a few of these things for you when you got it? No, ma'am, Silver Road will not be made a yacht basin. <laughs> Daddy, I'm home. Sorry, I took so long, but I went over on the next block. Gus? Honey? Ron? How do you do? 
I believe you're the lady with the petition. <laughs> yes, I must have missed you. Come on in. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, may I see the petition, please? You bet you may. Every signature helps. From what I hear, you have to really hit them over the head down at the city hall. Oh. Of course, with a brand new mayor, what can you expect? <laughs> I didn't vote for him, did you? <laughs> Well, yes, I did. I rather like him. It's a free country. You sign over here on the back page. Oh, I, I want to see what it says. Oh, nobody ever reads it. They just sign. <laughs> this whole thing is concerned with just one palm tree? Well, they take out a tree. They take out two trees. Before you know it, they're widening the street. That's the way it starts. One tiny little palm tree. <laughs> You must remember, Mr... Dawson. You must remember, Mr. Dawson, that we are the city, you and I. Thanks for including me. <laughs> We're all in this together. Here, sign uh, here. Oh, uh, Mrs., uh, Mrs. Angel, uh, I work for the city. Oh, really? In what capacity? Mayor. <laughs> well, then you ought to know better than... Please, Mrs. Angel, sit down. We have a lot to talk about. Oh, Mr. Do Your Honor, please forgive me for what I said. I didn't... Oh, mean... no, Mrs. Angel. I never was under the delusion that everyone in the city voted for me. <laughs> <laughs> so these petitions are the result of rumors you started. It amazes me that one angel could raise so much... <laughs> Right the first time. Mrs. Angel, you have the right to petition, but do it correctly. You see, rumors can be deadly. It's like a man throwing a red sweater into his wife's washing, or uh, a woman scrubbing her husband's pipes, or it's like uh, throwing a handful of sugar into a gas tank. It's like, uh, oh, please, Mrs. Angel, if I've said anything to offend you, I... Oh, hi, baby, you're back. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter, baby? What'd you say to her? <laughs> Nothing that I know of. She's no crybaby. You must have said something. What did the old fat say to you, honey? <laughs> you take your petitions and get out of here. <laughs> oh, it's not his fault. Why are you crying, baby? I washed your pipe. <laughs> Thank you, partner. Oh, I'll get away from there. <laughs> well, I, uh... See, you two kids got your new license plate. Uh-huh, I fixed. How do you like California coming up with all those letters preceding the numbers? We got an easy one to remember. A-C-E-1-2-3. Uh, what did you get? Huh? Oh, I don't remember. We'll soon find out. Carl! Oh, no! <laughs> R-A-T-8-7-7, well, that spells rat! <laughs> oh, gosh. If I were you, I'd send these plates back. Cut it out, honey. You started one of these things two weeks ago, and I wound up playing solitaire. <laughs> they got their new palm tree, didn't they? Look, kids, the, the state doesn't expect you two to be embarrassed. You know, I never what? realized that. Well, I know a fellow who, whose plate spelled out jerk, and he sent them back. He got back A-C-E-1-2-3. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, you don't have to accept plates like this. Like I said, I never realized that. Look, oh, Gus, don't let them get away with this. How do you think Vicky's going to feel driving around with rap written all over her car? Will bother me a bit. Well, remember, we are the state. <laughs> Carl, what do we do about it? Carl, well, yes, now the first room. time for coffee. Oh, room. Excuse me. He pretty near got me again, honey. Yeah, but I saw you first. Sure did. 
Yes, Dolly. I'll say this much for you. The riot you started this time is a lot nicer than the last one. <laughs> Got a date with an angel, going to meet her at seven. Got a date with an angel, and I'm on my way to heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, your Plymouth dealer invites you to watch the Lawrence Welk program Top Tunes and You Tell It on the same network. And the dramatic show Climax every week on another network. Tom Kennedy speaking. Good night, everybody.